Hello, my name is Matt for Magic Kid, and today we're going to walk through NASA's International Space Apps Challenge. Welcome to the largest annual space and science hackathon in the solar system. Join us on October 1st to 2nd as thousands of people across the world come together for Space Apps 2022. Registration opens July 15th, 2022. As you can see here, it's not just NASA. There's a lot of partnerships happening with all sorts of other space agencies from around the world. Australian Space Agency, Brazilian Space Agency, Canada Space Agency, European Space, Ag space Agency, uh, Japan Space Agency, and many others. So here's a fun fact. Last year, Space Apps welcomed over 28,000 registrants across 163 countries and territories using open data from NASA and other nine part, the other nine partner space agencies. They tackled 28 challenges and produced 2,814 projects. It's amazing. And last year, Magic Kid hosted uh, one of the locations in Chino Hills and won two global awards. Now this is amazing. The uh, first one here we'll take a look at is social spacing. And I have a video here just to kind of let them show you what their project was all about. Is Have you ever wanted to travel through different planets? Stop doing that, boys. Okay. Well, I always have. Hi, we're the Social Spacing Team, and we've taken on the challenge Space Quest the Game. We have solved this challenge by creating a fun educational game called Spazio. Spazio is a board game where players race through the galaxy on a scavenger hunt. The objective of the game is to be the first to explore and retrieve data from all the planets in the solar system and return to Earth safe. So that was Spazio, their game that they uh, invented. And this one won a global finalist honorable mention, which is amazing. Out of all the different pro uh, all the different projects submitted by by groups, uh, theirs was a, was a, one of the top ones. And even more amazing is this next one here. Four Seeds, which actually won one of the highly coveted 10 awards, and they won the Galactic Impact Award. So their project is called InfiniPod, and basically they're, they're in InfiniPod. Uh, well, actually, let me go ahead and show their video, and you'll be able to see a little bit more about what it's all about. Our team chose the topic, Have Seas Will Travel, to help scientists find innovative ways to solve food shortages on space missions. We named our model InfiniPod. It creates opportunities for space travel with continuously regrowable crop capsules. We utilize aeroponics with a compact spray nozzle, including liquid nutrients to nurture our plant of choice, butterhead lettuce. The user may utilize a special folding shelf and UI for easy access to observe or collect the crops. This solution is the future of crop cultivation and compact farming. So amazingly, this project uh, has so many different components to it. I just wanted to kind of note some of the amazing things that they did. So of course, as you saw, it's all about growing plants in space. And they have, they broke down their idea in a couple different ideas. Uh, reverse osmosis filter, a spray nozzle for the water absorption, and a computerized control interface as they showed in that, uh, in that video, which led to all sorts of different components as you may have noticed. There were 3D models and uh, also uh, they had to work on a user interface for the uh, computerized uh, uh, distributor of nutrients for the plants and uh, it was amazing a work that these that, that these, uh, these uh, teammates did and of course it won them that highest honor. All right. So the next thing I want to share is the that there was a winner announcement where they when they announced all of these and it was pretty exciting. Um, and as you can see, we have a couple of uh, four seed members there. And uh, this winning announcement was from former astronaut Katie Coleman, and it's very exciting to be able to see that live which led to the annual Global Winners Celebration. Now, usually this is in person, but of course, last year was all uh, done virtually, so even the uh, Global Winning uh, Celebration was uh, done virtually as well. 
Uh, but as you can see, uh, we had a bunch of different people there uh, from NASA, uh, as well as uh, even myself. There I am and our CEO, Angel. And this year, Magicade will host in more locations, not just Chino Hills, of course we did get that spot once again, but also in Dallas, Irvine, and San Marino. Now let's talk about the timeline. Of course, everything happens on that all-important weekend in October, 1st and 2nd. But leading up to that, there's a lot of things that can happen. Uh, first of all, starting in June, and in throughout July and August. You can be learning about things from the past. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. July 15th is when the registration actually begins. The challenges are released in October and also some of the resources are starting to be released in September. And of course the event itself. And then that leads us to in November, local awards and then those ones uh, that are the highest out of the local awards are then sent on for global judging, which happens in December, with the global winners being announced in January. So there's some things that you want to keep in mind on how you might want to prepare for this event. Now, of course, there's a lot of things that you can learn beforehand. So one of the first things that Magic Kid does is we have an entire unit where we learn uh, about previous projects. And that's our first tip, explore winning projects from previous years to understand their problem solving process. The second additional tip that we have is to build teams with diverse skills, such as programming, 3D modeling, research, video production, and more. There's many different types of challenges that are released each year, and we never know what they're going to be, but having a variety of skills in your team will help you achieve success. Number three, Keep your eyes open for the latest NASA projects. We noticed last year that there's a lot of projects that dealt with current, ongoing um, NASA projects, which of course makes a lot of sense because there's a lot of excitement for new discoveries and new equipment going into space. So we also have a unit that takes care of that as well. Our unit here called NASA 22, 2022 Projects are all projects that have been um, in the process have already been launched or about to launch, including things like the EMIT mission satellite or the JPSS mission or even the DART mission, which this one's exciting, using a satellite uh, to collide into an, an asteroid to see if it can be moved for maybe protection of, of the Earth in the future. And all sorts of other things as well. Now all these different projects will be continued to be added because NASA is always doing new and amazing things. So once again, I hope that you enjoyed this little presentation and I just wanted to encourage everyone to sign up for this amazing experience. Thank you. See you guys soon.